hello guys I am going to show you how to install SaaS software which is free of course nowadays as uh, SaaS University Edition and just go to search engine type SaaS University Edition and uh, click this link this first link University Edition and it will open up like this and here you can download the virtual box for window just click this link and it will open a new window and after that uh, you can download the SAS University edition official software from this official link click get download and it will lead you to a sign up window just complete the sign up process simply and the SAS will send you a, a download link and you can download the file uh, I suggest you to use a download manager or a third-party software for download because inbuilt downloader is very uh, poor in performance it gets stuck sometime and the consumable so better to use uh, IDM manager and when you download those two files First one is virtual and second one is uh, on this staff software package and just install uh, those first install in the virtual box and when you install the virtual box it will ins get installed and it will open up like this uh, I already have installed this but, but I will show you how to install a fresh file When you install uh, the virtual box manager, uh, open the software and just uh, do one more thing here. Go to C drive and just create one file, SAS University Edition folder. Create new folder, SAS University. University edition and uh, within that folder just create another new folder which is named named my folders and just go to virtual box click on file option import appliances select the file you already have downloaded this one SAS package file which is a large file you can see 2.283 or something something 2.3 GB approximately click next thus i leave the fields port your file will be input very shortly it will take one or two minute wait okay the file is now loaded it is imported this one is new file and after that uh, we just have to go to a machine and change some settings just go shared folder and click this add new change the folder path to other and this pop-up window will appear just select the folder we just have created now this SARS University Edition folder in C drive and my folders select open auto mount uh, do not check this read only file okay just check auto mount only and click OK and if there is any problem in the setting uh, a warning will appear here see uh, we don't have any problem so there is uh, no warning we can click OK saved now we have to start it it will normally start a new window with some command lines and this black window will turn into uh, SAS logo
here you can see SAS logo it is just logging in and it will take uh, one or two minutes just to work. Uh, after that a new window uh, not actually a new window uh, it will lead to a, a command window and you can see the address of localhost file here uh, you have to uh, enter this address in this window in web browser so what we have to do is just go to browser http colon slash slash uh, sorry colon slash slash localhost colon one zero eight one zero zero eight zero Uh, and during this period you have to minimize this window do not close virtual box while you work on SAS that address will lead you to this window and just click start it will open another tab with the studio feature it will open and signing in dialog after that it will so the initializing dialog and thereafter you will lead to uh, workplace of SAS studio now initial after that you will be directed towards uh, official SAS in this workplace you can use SAS software in many ways the complete SAS services are available here so you can enjoy the software now uh, the software uh, runs very well in SRS pair R11 a two-in-one laptop with 360 degree rotational screen and a multi-touch screen feature and uh, this program also works on all those softwares with 64-bit processing power or capacity and at least 1 GB RAM so you can enjoy the software any student any university professor or any academic people uh, who want to use uh, SAS software free of cost personally can use the software okay have a good day thank you